there were so many 2012 books that came out. I'm wondering, what did you take from those books that <clears throat> you specifically wanted to put in this movie that, like, you saw and you were like, could see it in your head and you were like, that needs to be on a screen? Um, you know what? Uh, it was uh, kind of strange. We had actually first the rough story. And then we like started researching on the internet. And then we like realized all of a sudden, oh, there's like this phenomenon of 2012 uh, out there. And then yes, then we took like you know, mainly the Mayan calendar kind of idea uh, into our movie. But it's, the movie could have also like kind of had another title. But it, in a way, we, what I liked about it, it ties it into a common belief some people already have. And we did this also, I did this also like in Independence Day. I like used Area 51, you know, which also a lot of people believed in and like kind of tied into my movie because it makes it more real. It makes it more like kind of feels like, uh, uh, you know, like connected to what's going on uh, out there. And, uh, and uh, you know, make, it gives it a mythical quality. Well, what I noticed was that a lot of like mainstream people that aren't up to date on exactly what they're saying about 2012 don't know about Yellowstone, and you have this in the movie. Do you think this is going to wake up and scare just the bejesus out of people when they realize this is actually a possibility that scientists say this could happen at any minute? Yeah, but like it's like kind of interesting, you know. I mean, we we like kind of uh, uh, I know about Yellowstone like forever, you know, but. Uh, we like kind of doing a movie where there's a big, big sequence uh, takes place in Yellowstone and Yellowstone explodes. It pretty much wipes out America, right? And there's like, I go like in a plane and there's a National Geographic says Super Volcano in Yellowstone title. You know, and it's like our movie, you know, in a way. And it's like kind of sometimes fun when you're like uh, some sort of ahead of the curve. You know, when you like some sort of, you know, know, uh, you know. But on the other hand, you know, I hope... Uh, I'm not so much ahead of the curve that this really happens. Why? Well, I mean, maybe it'll happen while we're sitting in the theater. My and mom never will blame me. My <laughs> mom will blame me for it. Like Karma. My mom blames me for every bad weather now since day of the tomorrow. Whenever it's getting very cold, I said, she says, Roland, it's all your fault. She's like, you're the reason the ice caps are melting? You're the reason we're having earthquakes in July? Yeah. yeah. It's great. Now, what else besides Yellowstone is happening in this film? Because a lot of stuff is tying in, right? I mean, do you deal with the sharks and their, like, brain matter getting switched around because of the magnetism and the whole, like, center of the Earth? It's, no, no. It's like we have, like, Earth. Uh, we have, like, we, we have uh, our main, you know, uh, theory we use is the Earth's crust displacement theory. It's, uh, it's like guys called Professor Hapgott. Uh, was like in the fifth, uh, done in the, uh, you know, uh, invented in the fifties. And actually, I was interested because like Albert Einstein, you know, endorsed it. He like kind of said like it's a very good theory. In the meantime, like a lot of scientists say it's like kind of all, oh, you know, uh, you know, not really true. But I, I kind of thought it was like kind of for me the only uh, like kind of theory which could uh, explain an inundation of Earth through water. And, uh, and that's like just what I needed, you know. I mean, I actually from the very beginning wanted to make a movie about a global flood. And, you know, and a retelling of Noah's Ark. But this time, you know, Noah is like the government. So and the government's building secretly ships. And it's a little bit a reversal of Noah, you know, where like people like laughing about them, you know, that he's building a ship. This time it's nobody knows. And everybody who finds out gets like kind of in a way, killed. And it's like you know, these it's two storylines, a storyline of the people who know and people who don't know. And they're like at the end, end up in the same place. And one just real quick ender, it, it, do you have to put hope in the film or can you just end this on a total deal, dark Well, there's hope, there's hope because some people survive, you know, but like not many. So that, there's always hope. There is like, a, it's dark, it's not like a happy, ha happy, happy ending. <laughs> I cannot be. No, so. I don't think it could be. All right, well, thanks so much.